So Todd, you know, Zyrotex has been an OEM, strictly OEM player from the get-go. Is that going to change now that you've come to the HPC space? I think the relationship we have with our direct customers um, could, could evolve. I won't say change because these are different markets. They're not significant markets as in server and general storage are um, in a sense. So those relationships could change. Um, will we go direct in this market? No, it's not our intent. Mm -hmm. You know, we will, we will fulfill products to the ultimate consumer through some sort of channel of distribution. And today, Zyrotex, and going in the near future or long future, as far as we can see, is an OEM provider. Um, and one of the things I mentioned earlier, it's important for us to leverage those you know, relationships that we've established you know, as we've grown our company. And they are with people who participate heavily in this segment of the market. So I think it's to our benefit to leverage those relationships the best we can and help those people be successful. Mm -hmm. So let's double click on that a little bit. How is Zyrotech set up from an organizational infrastructure standpoint and a go-to-market strategy? Well, today there's, there's, there's two components that we will leverage for this marketplace in HPC and then going forward in, into other verticals. Uh, first of all, it's a sell-to model. Uh, we definitely leverage our partnerships and the relationships we have with key brand names across the globe, um, leveraging not only the executive relationships but the field business relationships that we have with those customers. Um, in the top six largest enterprise storage companies in the world and the top four st server and application companies in the world, uh, we already have existing revenue streams and relationships. So that's just broadening what we do today. More importantly, looking at HPC, um, enabling a sell with model where we're actually engaged with their sales organizations in the field throughout the globe, jointly targeting end use accounts uh, with resources that we brought on board and trained and uh, promoted within the organization to help enable those uh, engagements. I think the most important thing for us to do is to continue to build relationships with the end user, understanding how they use products. You said the pace, you said they're a little bit risk um, accepting sometimes. Now that's not a space we've uh, you know, tended to be in because we're the other end of the professionalism with regard to quality and stability. So I think having people in the field dealing with those customers, even though we'll be fulfilling through the channel, you know, the sell with model enables uh, uh, the, our organization to learn more and more about the products. And I think last, I would say from the marketing perspective, leveraging those discussions and relationships into developing next generation technologies and feature function. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to enable this model going forward? Well, I think you know, one of the things is obviously training mm -hmm. uh, internally with our organization. I think hiring good people from the outside. Um, most importantly, listening to our customers and our customer's customer, uh, because I think you, have, you can learn a great deal from them with regard to uh, what you should be doing. And then I think enabling, obviously, from a financial perspective, we've gained board support and our investors, uh, you know, obviously the public, um, you know, to, to continue to build the model, uh, hire the right people, enable them to be successful with the right tools. But ultimately, it's, a, you know, it's an evolution, and it's a journey that we've embarked on and hopefully have a successful uh, um, path to try. Good. Well, I was just going to say, you know, this, this market has a, a great history of putting innovative companies out of business, but uh, uh, I, think, I think you got the right mix here. So, um. Well, it's kind of interesting you say that. One of the things that makes unique about what we do is this is an entrepreneurial business. Um, Zyrotex is not a, a stodgy, you know, a billion six revenue stream, mm -hmm. uh, but we do have the capabilities and the culture, uh, you know, to focus on things in a very entrepreneurial way, which, um, you know, we've always said the day it, it's not fun, you don't come to work the, the following morning. Um, and this is always a fun and exciting place to be because of that capability, the willingness, um, the, the commitment that people make to the business. Um, so hopefully that helps us be successful.